Hello friends, I'm Elisha Merrill and I'm going to teach you a dance that will hopefully help you to calm down if you are experiencing an anxiety attack or maybe you're coming down from a panic attack or you're feeling anxious in any way. Um, this is a dance that I choreographed for myself because I experience a lot of anxiety, um, especially after struggling with uh, autoimmune issues that leave me feeling very anxious. So um, I have tried this dance out and it did work. So hopefully um, it'll work for you as well. There are some therapeutic techniques in the dance um, like breath work and grounding, um, some bilateral stimulation um, like what's used with EMDR therapy. Um, as well as a few others. So I'll try to link that uh, in the description below. Um, otherwise, uh, this song that I'm using is by Jensen McRae. It's called My Ego Dies at the End. Um, it's, it's a dance though that if you can find the right tempo, do it to any song that makes you feel uh, more relaxed in the moment. So hopefully this helps you as much as it's helped me I made it for uh, uh, kind of a distraction from the anxiety. So there's some complicated sections to it. If you need to simplify, that's fine. So let's jump right into it. Um, the beginning uh, intro is just a nice steady beat. Um, and we're just going to breathe because breathing has been known to help you relax in the moment. Um, there's a lot of beautiful philosophies about the breath being our spirit and just letting that inhale and exhale bring us down from um, those thoughts that can stress us out. So uh, the first eight is just breathing in. And then we breathe out for four counts. And then we're gonna breathe back in for another four counts. And then the beat drops on the one and our first move, we're standing with our feet together and we're just gonna dive down just like that, kind of like a snake. All right, so that's one, two, and then our arms are gonna go out, three, four. And we're gonna snake our arms in a wave and our right hand is gonna come down and meet our face. So all together, we just snake down arms go out, left hand curls, starts the wave, right hand finishes it and brings it to your face. Again, this is kind of a tactile moment. So you're, you're feeling that skin on skin contact here, as well as being a little distracted by the fact that we're getting very in our bodies in this moment. We're feeling very grounded as we plie. So let's just try that with the music and um, follow along so you can feel that beat. Here we go. Yeah, let's do that one more time so you can feel that rhythm. I think I lost something in the water. Okay, from here, you're just gonna step with your right foot out to the side, back on the left foot, forward on the right, kind of back into your beginning space with your left. And my left arm's just kind of freely following that movement. You can kind of let it float wherever it wants. So when that arm swings around down to your face, you're going step behind, step together, okay? From here, you're gonna step out on the one, and this is kind of just a very, uh, you wanna keep it narrow, because our next steps are gonna go really far out to the side, and we don't wanna get too wide too fast. So you're stepping with your right arm up to the up corner and your left foot and left hand kind of down on the diagonal here. Then we're going to take four quick steps as our feet and arms get wider. So we're going out, 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 out. 
and we're in this kind of sprawled position. And again, this is kind of a feeling of that anxiousness is getting out of control. From here, we're gonna bring it back together into this kind of curved shape, if you can see my body here. Curved over, our feet are nice and wide. We're feeling the ground here. Then we're gonna switch and then our left arms on top, that's gonna lead us in a big kind of rainbow back to the beginning here. We're gonna give one quick breath and a little whip in to, uh, into our rib cage here with our arms nice and close. So we had from our face grab, we stepped right, left, right, left. We're gonna step up to the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. On six is when you go do a little breath release and bring the arms in on seven. Let's try all that with the music. going to switch directions on the one which is also the bump okay and then we're going to do our same backside front with our feet as we now also add in that rainbow arm with the left hand on top so we're going left hand left foot back side front then we're going to bring our feet together as we do a little arm motif that's kind of supposed to be a little bit of a brain teaser. We do right and left. So a little kind of variation on the bilateral stimulation. It's very simple, but it does make your brain have to think. It takes your mind off of mental thoughts and into the physical body. So again, we did our little breath release on six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We're gonna keep going right, left, right, left with our arms, and here's the sequence. We go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then we just reverse it. Right, left, right, left, right, left. We're not gonna go all the way down this time to the starting position. We're gonna go again. Up, up, out, out, down, down. And that's the whole sequence. So all together you did. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. All right? Little tag at the end of this is she's talking about swimming in the water. So we're gonna swim to the front, swim to the front, and then quick, quick to the back. And then our final moment leaves us with a little little hip hop moment. So all, you're, all I'm doing here is dropping into a seated position and my weight is primarily on my left leg because I'll next step out on the right. Let's put it all together. So that arm movement is nice and quick on each beat, so it causes you to have to think a little bit there. So we drop. Then we're going to go um, out to the front with a parallel foot, where you're just kind of you're stopping yourself from going over the edge here. All right, so you're going, you're breathing in on that step, and then you're going to turn the foot out and go all the way over the edge. Okay, and breathe out. Or yeah, so you're breathing in and then out. We're gonna do four of these all the way around the circle. So that's one, you go 
two, three, four. Okay, you wanna end up right back to the front. And these arms are whatever makes you feel kind of loose. Again, we're digging into the floor as we're doing this. So your arms can do this, they can go up, they can both go to the side, grab your face, whatever makes you feel a little grounded or free in that moment, that moment there. So after we finish to the front and we do our release, you're gonna push off, step to the back. You get one free step and then we're gonna add our hands. Hands are going uh, to our left and then to the right, back to the left, all right? And I'm, I'm doing uh, a kind of circle in the middle here, yeah? Where I come through this circular position with my arms. If you just wanna throw your hands out to the side, you can do that as well. But I'm specifically doing um, a little circle in the middle for myself, okay? So again, you hit, you release on that last one. You step right, you go left, right, left. From here, we're gonna roll it back and we're doing um, a little weight change onto our right foot. So we go right foot, right foot, right foot, just three of those. And I'm going down, down, down. Okay, so your left foot brings you up, then you plie down onto the right foot. And all I'm doing with my fist is rolling it backwards. Okay, last one, you finish there, and you went one, two, three. Then you're gonna exhale, big push to the front. Then we have a nice swinging motion here, which this is our first one, and we're gonna swing back, front, back, front, back, front, back and front. On the last back here, we're gonna do a little chasse in between, right, left, right. Coming up to a nice strong leaning onto our right leg position and my left foot is flexed. Bring me up nice and tall, okay? Then we're gonna drop on the count of three, all right? So let's put that all together. Let's try it from the top, see how we do. steps I kind of like to use the term free breath so as you feel that movement pushing you forward and back let your breath swing with it as well uh, this is a little bit of kind of a capoeira technique which is very grounding so feeling that floor as you push back and forth between the two feet and then after our chasse I do like to give a little breath out on that count of three. Yeah, because it is kind of a nice release. From there, we're gonna step to the front and you're gonna um, go back and forth with your arms like this. And we do it four times. For me, I've been going, the first two are down kind of midway. The second two, I like to bring my face to my hand. It brings that tactile experience back into it. We're also kind of feeling the arms back and forth, which um, I think is a technique called havening. So um, again, I'll find a link for that in the description. Um, so once we've finished our last two, we're gonna just make a circle and our, our feet are going right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left, right, left. And my hands are, while that's happening, doing a little roll and out. And we're doing that back and forth from the right to the left. So together, when we put them together, we go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left, right, left. We're going to do the same thing, uh, but this time feet just take one step and our arms are just going out to the side like this as we step in a circle. Okay, we do eight of these all together until we get back to the front. We finish out the whole thing with a little tapping technique, um, which is very calming. It makes you feel very safe, um, especially this particular hand motion of crossing the arms. Um, you can choose to do this particular tapping technique on your arms. All we're doing is tapping back and forth on the beat, nice and slow, nice and light. We're not hurting ourselves. Or you can do it on the rib cage under the arms, back and forth. While we're doing that, I find it helpful to march in place. It just helps as well with that bilateral stimulation, calming, slowing, and causing the brain to think of two things at once. So let's put it all together from the top and um, see where we end up. So from, from there, she repeats the verse. I frequently like to repeat the whole thing over again. You can start from the drop, dropping down, arms, wave, the whole thing. Um, she goes all the way through, back to the tapping. Um, and then she picks up again after you finish the tapping the second time with uh, the swinging step. So um, what I'd like to do is go all the way through the song. Um, I'll try not to say anything this time. And I'll try to do the whole song. It's about four minutes, which I find is a lovely amount of time for helping me to calm down. So let's give it a try. Dream that should have made me stronger. I 
Thank you.